Red eye is a pretty uncommon problem these days that's often fixed in camera. But from time to time, it might show up in your images. What it looks like is this. Depending upon the situation you were shooting, particularly if it's a lower light environment, sometimes the flash of the camera is reflected back and it can create this weird color shift in the eye. This also can happen in pets and it sometimes results in a green or a bluish center. What we can do here is choose the tool for red eye. It's quite simple. And you see that there's a choice for both red eye and pet eye. So pet eye is for animals and red eye is for people. All you need to do is click on the tool and it will find the eye. If you click on each of these, it will try to find the center and it does a nice job of reshaping. You'll notice there that if we take a look at that, it really fixed it quite simply. If needed, you can adjust the size of the pupil. This is what it's darkening. So if we go in here, let's take a look at this one. I adjust the pupil size. You see how it's going more or less aggressive. So if it gets too big, you could do that change. You can also control how much it darkens. So find the right balance. It's not meant to be pure black, but sometimes you may have to refine these. So if you're adjusting the size and it's not quite right, don't be afraid to tweak the pupil size to be a little more aggressive. You can also shift that manually if needed and control how it's being placed. There we go. Now, if I zoom out, you'll see that the tool itself has done its job and we've removed the red eye in the photo. Red eye is very uncommon, but if it does pop up, particularly in archival photos or scans, you can use this tool to fix. And every once in a while when shooting an event or a party, it might raise its ugly head.